Hi friend, welcome to Locust Street Cottage. Today I'm going to tell you the three things I'm going to do this year to combat the cabbage moth. We've lived at this house for about five years and I have never ever had a good harvest of any brassicas. The only reason these guys did anything was because I planted them back in October. Thank you Jess at Roots and Refuge. Admittedly, they look a little sad today, but that was because of the snowpocalypse. This year I'm taking a three-pronged approach to combating the cabbage moth, and the first step is parasitic wasps. Now, if I'm gonna spend money on parasitic wasps, I wanna make sure they have a nice habitat to live in. So what we're gonna do right now is go buy some seeds to plant the plants that those wasps like to eat so hopefully they'll stick around and do the job that I'm paying them to do. For those of you that don't know, a parasitic wasp is a little bug that likes to lay its eggs on or inside of other bugs. There is a certain type of wasp that prefers the cabbage moth. That's the kind I'm gonna buy. So what we need to do is get some seeds for some plants that that wasp likes to feed on. Let's go. I think we found the right place. Tiny flowers, more tiny flowers, tiny flowers, tiny flowers, tiny flowers. Do I need more grow lights? Do not need more grow lights. Let's get out of here. You guys, I also got a Rubbermaid tote for a nesting box for the bunnies, but that's a video for another time. Step two is bug netting. And I bought this roll of tool on Amazon for a dollar a yard. I will link that below. And of course I'm using the earth staples again that I hated so much, but we'll see if they work this time. Hopefully this keeps the bad bugs off and then the good bugs can get them. Tool number three is this. So apparently these cabbage moths are a little bit territorial. And if they see the other cabbage moths in the area, they won't go there. So we're gonna create some faux cabbage moths. And again, I'll provide the link to this template in my description. And I totally laminated these guys. So that's what I'm doing, the parasitic wasps, the bug cover, and the decoy moths. If you like what you saw, you can subscribe right there, or you can watch more gardening videos right there. Say goodbye, buckets!